Here's how to add another employee to your existing Absentia Leave Planner template. Let's say you've got your employees in an alphabetical order and you need to add Frankie in the middle. So hit come after Elon. So we'll click on the row below and select insert. Now we need to make sure that our, any formulas are replicated in our new row. So you see here there's normally a formula in the absences column which is not there in the row below it. So we'll just drag that cell down. So it adds the formula to that cell. We'll add the name for Frankie, spelling it right. right. Now we need to make this change on all of the uh, monthly tabs. So we'll do it on that one too. Drag that one down. And once we get to the totals, We'll need to do the same here. As you can see currently Excel has automatically updated these references to point to uh, Greg's existing row. So even if you only do some of the um, some of the months it won't be an issue. So we'll go ahead and insert the row for Frankie here and all of these rows uh, columns have formulas so we'll drag them down and we just give that a quick test by going to one of the uh, months where we've made the change and we'll add a day of sickness and you can see that it's represented there and on the totals page it's represented for Frankie there and there and it hasn't affected Elon or Greg so that's all you need to do